Welcome back, everybody, to our birthday special for Trina Christine Mason, which we're going to do some PlayStation games. We're going to do five of them. The first one is Jeopardy. Let's see how it goes. Share them close. We're going to Kill the music. And there we go. Go ahead and grab a seat right here. And we'll start the game. Start the game. I love it. Your father loves it. Your Aunt Nana watches it every night on Pluto TV. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Okay, set the game up exactly the way you like. What'll it be? Okay, and we'll get a couple of computer contestants to play against you. You ready to play, Tiger? Player one, what's your name? Here's my name. Let's play Jeopardy on the PlayStation. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy. Let's play. Hello, it's time for Jeopardy. Good luck to all our players. Thank you. I'm ready to play and I'm ready to win. Dollar figures are in place. Would you like to see the first round categories? Yes. Here goes. Literary hodgepodge. Organizations. Old movies, odd words, gourmet cuisine, people and places. Player one, let's get things underway. Gourmet cuisine 100. The word malasol on a caviar label means the row is preserved with a minimum of this seasoning. Player one. What is salt? That's correct. You're off to a great start. Thank you. All right, pick again. For my cuisine 200. These chocolate confections are so called because they resemble the fancy fungi of the same name. Layer one. What are truffles? Why, yes. You're in first place all by yourself. As I should be. All right, pick again. Gourmet Cuisine 300. Ancient Romans cultivated these gastropods on farms, fattening them on meal and wine. Layer one. What are snails? To be sure. All right, pick again. Eggs Meyer beer, named in honor of the composer, is made with these organs the French called rognon. Player two. Kidneys, I was thinking that. That's it, exactly. That takes you into second place. Oh well. What'll it be, player two? Alright. Answer. Uh-oh. 
Player two, your way to the lead. Player two puts the lead here. He did his own illustrations for Just So Stories. Player two? Roger Kipling, that's right. Yes, indeed. All right, pick again. Once a naval historian in the South Pacific, he won a Pulitzer Prize for Tales of the South Pacific. Player one? Who is James Bishoner? Yes, indeed. Your choice, player one. Literary hodgepodge for 300. The title of the novel Brave New World comes from a line spoken by Miranda in this Shakespeare play. Player one. Um, what is The Tempest? Correct. All right, pick again. In 1991, the University of Alabama awarded this To Kill a Mockingbird author an honorary Doctor of Letters degree. Player one. Who's Harper Lee? Yes, indeed. All right, pick again. His Bowdoin College classmate, Horatio Bridge, subsidized the publication of his twice-told tales. Player two? Nathaniel Hawthorne? Yes, indeed. <clears throat> Player two, you choose. It's a teeter-totter battle going on right now. Oh, odd words, all right. When a bird nidifies, it builds this. Player one? What is a nest? To be sure. Player one, what'll it be? Hogwarts 200. Sternutation is the act of, or noise produced by, doing this. God bless you. Player what one. What is sneezing? That's it. All right, pick again. Hogwarts 300. A tuft of hair that won't stay flat is referred to by this bovine term. Player one. What is a cowlet? To be sure. All right, pick again. A gnomon is the pin or plate that casts a shadow on one of these devices. Player one. What's a sundial? Exactly. All right, pick again. Term for a flock of geese, or a coil of yarn, as sold in stores. Player one. What is a gaggle? No, it's not. Uh... Oh, I forgot. I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm sorry. Player two. A sky, and that's right. Yes, indeed. All right, contestant two. After a dispute with his father, Ballington Booth left this organization and founded the Volunteers of America. Player two. The Salvation Army. Correct. All right, pick again. We have a tie right now. In 1992, this conservation organization, founded by John Muir, celebrated its 100th anniversary. Player two? The Sierra Club. That's it. All right, pick again. Maggie Kuhn, who passed away in 1995, co-founded this organization to fight age discrimination. Player two? The Grey Panthers. Why, yes. All right, pick again. Founded in 1929, the Daughters of Penelope is the leading U.S. organization for women of this ethnic background. Player three. Greek American? Yes. Player three, it's your turn.
Betty Davis gave a memorable performance as a socialite dying of a brain tumor in this 1939 film. What is Dark Victory? That's right. It's your turn, player one. Old Movies 200. In this Jerome Kern bio, Till the Clouds Roll By, Frank Sinatra sang this classic from Showboat. Player three. Old Man River. Correct. It's your turn, player three. The people of this country's fourth largest city are called madrasis. Player one. What is India? That's right. Player one, you choose. Bernays sauce is from France, while Bernays people are from this country. Player one. What is Switzerland? Yes, indeed. All right, pick again. Many people of this largest island are of combined Eskimo and Danish ancestry. Player one. What is Greenland? That's it. All right, pick again. Natives of this Canadian city are called Haligonians. Player one. What is Halifax? Correct. All right, pick again. The Mende and the Temne are two major ethnic groups in this African country whose name means Lion Mountain. Player one. What is Sierra Leone? To be sure. All right, pick again. Served with Bernays sauce, this thick cut of beef is named for a French statesman, not a French castle. Player three. Oh, Chateaubriand, that's right. Correct. What will it be, player three? Director Otto Preminger took over from Ruben Mamoulian on this 1944 Gene Tierney murder mystery. Player three. That's it. All right, pick again. He directed and starred in 1948's The Lady from Shanghai. Player one. Who is Orson Welles? Yes. Okay, contestant one. He was Captain Blood and Robin Hood in the 1930s. In 1940, he was the Seahawk. Player three. Oh, yeah. Right you are. And to finish the board. A leukemic boy's dream of becoming a police officer inspired the formation of this foundation in 1983. Player one. What is the Make-A-Wish Foundation? Right you are. All right, that's the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's look at the I'm in the lead, $4,500. So Player 2 is $2,500. Player 3, 1900 Now it's time for the Double Jeopardy round. Let's see if you like these categories in the Double Jeopardy round. Dance. Smithsonian TV props. Mountains. 
Birds. 16th century names. Rock lyrics. Player three, you go first. All right. Colorado's Arapaho Peak is located in the front range of these mountains. Player one. What are the Rocky Mountains? Or just the Rockies, okay. To be sure. Okay, contestant one. Mountains 400. In 1840, great masses of this mountain, where Noah's Ark landed, were torn loose by an earthquake. Player two. Mount Ararat. That's correct. Player two, you choose. Rudolph II of this Austrian dynasty was crowned King of Bohemia in 1575. Player two. The Habsburg dynasty. That's it, exactly. All right, pick again. This queen's mother, Anne Boleyn, had been a lady-in-waiting for Catherine of Aragon. Player one. Queen Elizabeth I. That's correct. Player one, what'll it be? In 1538, this conquistador's forces captured and executed his rival, Diego de Almagro. Player two? Oh yeah, Pizarro. That's it, exactly. Player two, it's your turn. Species of this large bird with a long neck include demoiselle, sandhill, and whooping. Player one? What are cranes? Yes. Player one, your turn. World Book calls it the night watchman of our gardens. Player one. What's an owl? You are correct. All right, pick again. The answer is a video really double. Oh, wow. Player one, please make your way. 4,300. This Australian kingfisher is sometimes called a laughing jackass. Take a look at your monitor. I'm going to say that looks like a kookaburra, so I'm going to say what's a kookaburra. Player one? Why, yes. You're building up a big... Yeah, lead. buddy! All right, pick again. With a wingspan of up to nine and a half feet, this vulture is North America's largest flying land bird. Player two? The California Condor. Yes. Player two, it's your turn. The Kathak is an exciting rhythmic dance from this country, while the Kathakali is a Hindu dance drama. Player one? What is India? Yes, indeed. Your choice, player one. Birds for 1,000. The adjutant birds of Southeast Asia are members of this family, known for family deliveries. Player one. What are storks? Exactly. All right, pick again. Dance for 400. The soles of a clog dancer's shoes are traditionally made of this material. Player one. What is wood? That's it. All right, pick again. The hora is performed in a circle, and the quadrille uses this formation. Player one. Square. Exactly. All right, pick again. The sevillana evolved from the segadilla, a lively dance from this country. Player one. What is Spain?
Right you are. All right, pick again. Answer. Okay. Player one, please make your uh, way. Uh, 3,000. The Joged is a modernized version of the Legong, the best known dance of this Indonesian island. What is Bali? Player one. That's it. All right, pick again. Mountain 600. Ten mountains in the South American chain exceed a height of 22,000 feet. Player one. What are the Andes? Yes, indeed. All right, pick again. Adam's Peak, a sacred mountain in this island nation, is called Samanala in Sinhalese. Player three. Sri Lanka? Yes. Player three. Chuck Berry asked her, why can't you be true? You started back doing the things you used to do. Player one. Uh, who is Maybelline? That's correct. Yes. Player one, you choose. Rockler's 400. In Purple Haze, Jimi Hendrix sang, Acting funny, but I don't know why. Excuse me while I do this. Player one. What is Kiss the Sky? That's it. All right, pick again. Question that follows Chicago's, does anybody really know what time it is? Player one. What is, does anybody really care? That's it. All right, pick again. Talking about your troubles, it's a crying sin. Ride a painted pony, let this spin. What's the spinning Player wheel? One? That's correct. All right, pick again. Little Richard shouted, she has a lot on the ball and nobody cares if she's long and tall. Player one. Was Sally. Correct. All right, pick again. Dapsang and Chikori are local names for this, the world's second tallest mountain. Player one. What is K2? Correct. All right, pick again. This native of Crete studied with Titian in Venice before moving to Toledo. Player one. Who's El Greco? Why, yes. All right, pick again. Ferdinando, a member of this ruling family of Florence, became a cardinal when he was only 14. For the Medici. Player one. That's right. So it's only a TV All right, pick again. A hand phaser from the 60s science fiction series is there. Hope it's set on stun. Player what one. Star Trek. You are correct. All right, pick again. Her charwoman costume is on display. Player one. Carol Burnett. Correct. All right, pick again. A seltzer bottle used by this howdy doody clown is part of the collection. Player one. Clarabel.
That's it. All right, pick again. The museum has a pith helmet and a safari jacket worn by this mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom star. Player one? Who's Marlon Perkins? That's it. And to finish the board... A Detroit Tigers baseball cap and a Hawaiian shirt came from this show. Player one? What is Magnum P.I.? That's it. All right, that brings us to the end of the double Jeopardy round. And I'm out front with $25,400. Player two is 4500 Player three, 2700 Looks like we're going to have a fight for second place. Take a look at the category for Final Jeopardy. Sports Awards. Player three, could we have your wager, please? <laughs> Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. All right, here's the answer. Good luck. Let's see how everyone did. Thanks, Johnny. Your question, player three. That's right. All right. Your wager was... Well, I know I'm right. I'm going to end up with $25,452. That takes you into second place. See you all for that next game, everybody. Player two, let's take a look at your question. No, I'm sorry. What's that going to cost you? Ooh, I guess it's just not your day. Player one, let's take a look at your question. Very good. Now, what was your wager? You're in the lead. Congratulations, Player One. You're the Jeopardy champion. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. Here are the high scores for all the game modes. 